Now let's watch it. Let's watch Daryl Strawberry. Right at the 47th yeah. minute of, of episode four. Of the minute, everybody <laughs> yeah. tune in now. Nothing would make the fans happier than us talking about sports <laughs> and just watching a show <laughs> about sports <laughs> off camera yeah. for the whole thing. Yeah, we almost had two barstool dudes on here. <laughs> <laughs> Our fans are going to go nuts, yeah. dude. Skipping this one. See you next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they fucking hate sports. Sports talk. Yeah, and I have to pretend like I do too sometimes. I mean, what's funny is that people who don't really listen to the Pat podcast, but that that know of us, think that it's like a sports show. Really? Yeah. I, I was told so. recently by a girl that she, uh, I don't look athletic. It fucking crushed me. What? Yeah. Who's this whore? What are you talking about, <laughs> dude? It, fu- it fucked me up for like two hours. I mean, nothing on earth would make me happier than hearing someone say that <laughs> to you. I know, but, Chris. But I well, still, I we find all love that, when one another get our asses raped. But I still find that impossible to believe. Right? Yeah, that's crazy. I get that every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your hair like that, you surf these days. Shot put. <laughs> dude. He told me on the walk here from the parking spot. Uh, he put sun in in his hair. Do you remember sun in? Really? Yeah, I did it like maybe like a month ago down the shore. My niece. I think I saw some of that. It was really blonde there for a while, was yeah. it not? My yeah. niece put some in my hair, and I thought, all right, big deal, whatever. I never put it in again, and it just kept getting lighter and lighter. It yeah. looks great. Yeah? Yes. I think it does. It yeah. looks fucking wonderful. I Start telling you. people that you don't know. It's natural. <laughs> that's I think it looks really that's wonderful. That's what I told him. He goes, you put sun in your hair? I'm like, nah, and it just gets lighter in the summer. Yeah. So he's like, oh, it looks great. I was like, nah, it's sunny. But I, I've, been, I've been telling everybody that. <laughs> Dude, sunny was best. like, I mean, it's cheaper than like the box shit. Remember you just put lemon juice? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. So I've in high school, yet. we all just like grabbed a bucket of lemon juice <laughs> yeah. and we just run our fingers a little peroxide or something yeah. like that or if i was working at like a restaurant job in the kitchen i would like just take some some bleach and like rub it on my fingers and just streak my hair a yes little bit. really yeah. that's what the chicks like back yeah. then. Dude, i've never you lighten up i've I'm never too dark I, i've never done anything with my hair yeah, we're talking I, we're talking about the 90s it, it doesn't like matter you guys what had era. it with your hoop it earrings matter. and your fallout boy <laughs> yeah. all right we had to fucking earn our keep yeah, yeah. we couldn't just show up with our feelings no, i've had i've had <laughs> I've had a Lego man. Dude, I had my haircut. last name carved into my fucking bicep. Yeah. All of my friends in high school would take a razor blade and put your initials in your bicep. Like and a, this one kid, Tierney, was like, like a middle school couple rocks. on a tree. Yeah. 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 This was a T bark. plus P. <laughs> forever. Tommy, harder Tommy and Cassie forever. forever. Yeah. Yeah. This one dude, Tierney, went so deep, he like cut a fucking vein. It's funny. He had a big fat scar, like getting hit by a fucking weed whacker. That's his law practice now. <laughs> huh? Smartest one of all of us. Had a pediatrics. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. By the way, I, I picked him up on the street. I see him. He's walking down the street, gets in a car. Told me, he's like, he's like, can you can you be there at, uh, uh, what, you said 615? 615. Yeah. <laughs> he gets in the car. It smells like a liquor cabinet. <laughs> wow! I had to stop. <laughs> First of all, who I gets, had who gets, I had had has no place in this sense. What? <laughs> who, I who had to beer do after the doctors. <laughs> well, good news That's when you get like a I got good news at the doctor. <laughs> yeah. Good news or bad news? First you were going. All, that you I, that fucking I dickheads! That I, get I was. Through. I had to stop by the fish market. That was stressful. <laughs> and you got to cover up that scent. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. <laughs> Just take a bite out of a fucking salmon head. This will get rid of it. Like I'm coming home to mom and dad and fucking a lemon grape. So it smell like fish. By the way, you down uh, that fish market again, huh? No, we have to tomorrow. No, no, I swear, I was getting <laughs> shit faced. <laughs> what were you doing? Feeling the octopus? Yeah, you dirty little. I swear, bastard. God, I call the bar right now. We'll prove it. No, we have to cook. Uh, we have to cook dinner tomorrow for look at dish. What are you making? You said something about uh, yeah, halibut or something? We're doing, no, we're doing a dish on the heels of uh, our fishing trip. 
Mm -hmm. We didn't catch any tuna, but we did catch striped bass. Yeah. Okay. And they were so large we couldn't take them home because they're breeders. Big mm -hmm. fat old dick striped bass that are coming all over the sea and you can't take them home. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The striped bass. My, have to, that my kind of guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, have to be, they have to be between 26 and 34 inches or something, something like that, like right? That, 28 yeah. to 34. Ours were like 46. Okay. 48. These they're things were bangers, huge. dude. Yeah. Footage is nice. Nice. So I was just going to, you know, uh, play on that was fine striped bass. And the guy said they don't get them until tomorrow and Friday, or not tomorrow, Wednesday and Friday. So I'm striped bass or striped. Oh fuck stripe, yeah! yeah. Huh. But no, that's not good because they don't come until Wednesday. We got to cook tomorrow. Oh, so I got to find another Wednesday. monger that possibly has it, or else I'll just get Chilean sea bass. Did you say another monger? Yeah, yeah fish monger. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you, <laughs> Harry Potter? What do you want me to call him? A fish a secretary? Monger. It's a fucking monger. That's yeah. what they do. They collect fishes from all over the fucking seas. Like Santa Claus's origin story. <laughs> it is a funny. fish monger. It is funny to say, I need to find another monger. Yeah, another monger. <laughs> my first monger's out. Yeah, dude. I, I got a fucking, listen, I got three cobblers to fix all my eels. <laughs> yeah. I got to find a blacksmith. You got uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, I gotta find a fish Mexican that can find out if they, they, they have you more. You know, a good guy that makes chain mail, huh? I'm looking for something to cover. <laughs> cover up my horse. <laughs> I can't something. I gotta about, find another monger. I can't something about you on a fucking surfboard. Just splitting into a bucket of <laughs> I would never. styrofoam. Are you kidding me? I didn't even do boogie boards when we were kids. Really? No, we weren't getting my boogie board. What? Get the, dude, my mom wouldn't even buy us. Not that she wouldn't buy us. Uh, when we, when we moved down to Philly, things are a little tight. Yeah. And the first time that we went to go sledding, it's a big hill by our house. She was like, all right, can we go get some sleds? And now we're not getting that. Gave us fucking cardboard boxes. Oh, my God. We were out there like a couple of bozos in our jeans. Oh, my fucking God. Just Which is the cardboard box of pants for sledding? <laughs> 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 they both just absorbed the ice and water immediately. I got a brown paper bag around me. Yeah, she was underwear. Doing it. And down ashore, it was body surfing or nothing. Yeah. There was no boogie. Maybe a cousin would have great. one. They'd let you use it for a minute. But yeah. no, you got boogie boards? Man. Did I you? Bet, I bet you could fly on some cardboard. No, you hill. can't. Guess what? No, you can't. No, you can't. What do you mean I bet? If it's it got a little work. bit of lamination on it, I mm. bet you could fly. You got to see all the fucking exits. Yeah. There's no flat bottom of a cardboard box. You have to get fucking Billy Mays out there to make that thing run. <laughs> yeah, you kidding dude. me? No, it sucks. You just literally, we just went right into the snow. You need a circle uh, disc that you get all fucking discombobulated. And by the time you get down there, you get tossed. You get a concussion. Yeah. Come back up. Call your mom, dad. You know, you're all fucked up. It's no yeah. good. Were you a boogie board kid? I bet you were. Yeah, we had boogie boards. You did, yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? This is the shit. problem with growing up in Connecticut. Is yeah, people can is. make any normal thing seem like you fucking yeah, rich, rich prick. piece of shit. But you had shit. shoes as a kid, you fucking. Tommy pussy. probably stole his like a gentleman. Well, I had a, I had a friend that didn't let me borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> a fence I could hop. <laughs> no, we had dude. My aunt. We used to go to this uh, this hill in like Darby or something, and these fucking hammers, these old school like uh, like metalheads. We call mm -hmm. them hammers. They were all fucked up. They drink all night. And then my aunt and uncle decided to take me to this sledding hill. And they had one of those discs that you just spin and whatnot. Yeah. Sure. And I was scared. They These hammers built this ramp in the middle of the hill. And they were going off the ramp. And I was like, I'm too scared. Are, oh, too scared. Older kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was only you. like seven. I got you. And all these fucking older kids are just getting launched off this, this mountain in the middle of yeah. the mountain. I'm yeah. like, I'm not doing that. Let's go all the way to the left. So she takes me all the way to the left. Dude, as soon as I leave the top of the hill, I just start start, start bending into the middle and I get launched off this fucking disc, completely come off it, come back on. This hammer has to dive to grab me before I slid into a lake. I come back up the hill. My aunt, my aunt's jeans are soaked. She pissed herself. She pissed herself laughing because I got tossed so fucking hot. You got enough Hennessy in you, I guess. You know I mean? <laughs> we had to leave. I got one fucking run. And we had to leave because Aunt Mimi took a piss in her pants. <laughs> I would like to, you I would like to see. <laughs> I would like to see as as her pants start to soak, the laughter dissipate. Because <laughs> it's more serious. Just like the volume getting turned down. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that was... That was the fucking go and find like a local hill or go. go you know what kids today? Yeah. You know what kids today will never understand the terror of metal head, older metal heads. Yep. Even though looking back, they were probably like, I remember like seeing a kid in a Pink Floyd t shirt. I was yeah. like, he's going to stab me. Yeah. Then you listen to Pink Floyd, you're like, oh, these guys are all they're right. Pretty mellow. <laughs> but at the time, when they'd get on the bus, 
in a fucking black Metallica t-shirt. shirt. Yeah, dude, yeah. long hair, just reeking of Bernie's. Dude. And you see these, p- these young pussies getting them from Target now? They're like fucking 18 to 23 year old kids. They're wearing a Metallica shirt. At the fucking New York Sports Club, I, I, this guy... <laughs> No, this is true. I have Metallica playing. I had a ride in the trunk to the Man Music Center Dude. and paid a guy five bucks outside <laughs> to get my Metallica t-shirt. Dude, I'm listening to Appetite for Destruction by chance. And this fucking waterhead walks by me wearing a cutoff Appetite for Destruction shirt. And I literally pulled my phone. I was like, oh, shit. And then he took his earphone out and he's like, what's that? And I was like, I'm listening to it. And he looked down. And he was like. What is, oh, didn't even understand the music. <laughs> dude, That's fucked up. You are 100% the weirdo in this story. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. He's well, stopping his shit. <laughs> while he's working out. <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude, what are the odds? Metallica. What are the odds? They sold millions of records and millions of t-shirts. You're missing the point. That one on at the same time. You got to have integrity when you wear it. You got to know what you're wearing. (laughs) Integrity. You can't be rocking a fucking metal shirt, not be a fucking metal head. I wouldn't put that shirt on. I'd listen to the music. I'm not about that life. Yeah. That's like wearing fucking this getting like thug life tattoo mm. on you. You're not fucking about that life. I don't know. Take man. the goddamn it's thing metallic, off. Yeah. Go back to Target. Get a scented candle <laughs> and get the fuck out of my gym. <laughs> oh, Tommy does have a point. I know what you mean. A lot of people wearing their. You can't wear now. a Rolling Stone T-shirt unless you know <laughs> no, the blues. A hundred percent. I was there, Liverpool, '68, <laughs> man. <laughs> All spiked up, yeah, dude. <laughs> My first concert was Pink Floyd. My brother made me do whippets. The comments are all going to be, Tommy thinks Metallica is metal. <laughs> That's metal, isn't it? <laughs> all these kids is do. that not metal? I, I, it is, but you know, not to metal heads. Yeah. Well, let's talk about sports. <laughs> <laughs> something I know about that they ate. How old were you when you went to your first concert? How old was it? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah. Your brother took you. Yeah. Made you do whippets. Yeah. Wow. In the parking lot. Man. Yeah, it was great. If you had a time machine, go back and stop that, huh? Stop it? Yeah. Oh, really? That's the first time he did whippets? I would have bought two more balloons. <laughs> <laughs> two for five? Suck my dick, dude. That's dude. That was a deal. Go back with the money you have now? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, good yeah. night. I would have took two, sold one, and then got a, a, a t-shirt, mm-hmm. Pink Floyd t-shirt, and fucking uh, been about that life. I remember the first time I did cocaine. I, I I think about that looking back, like ah, oh, I just wouldn't just would have got sick that night or something. Yeah, who knows? You would have ran into it again. I'm sure. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. It was the stuff. night before New Year's. What year? How old were you? Uh, I was probably eighteen or nineteen. I think it was my first oh, or wow, second year in college. Yeah. Yeah. Home for Christmas for your age too. It's very young. Yeah. Home uh, home for college. Uh, you know, night before New Year's. This was when this pattern started. Yeah. Get the shit, get all the drugs the night before New Year's. Yeah. Save them for New Year's Eve, but we would just get them and take them all. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. take them all fucking yeah. the night before New Year's. You ever meet a guy that saves half a bag of Coke? That's crazy. How? How? It's crazy. You yeah, wake I had up this from last night. Like, yeah, no, I got a little didn't. bit left. A little bit left yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> what the oh, fuck? I didn't even party last night. Give me that. Yeah. <laughs> You'd have to put a satchel over my head and throw me in a van, take yeah. me to a different country it's got, to I, not yeah, finish a bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never, I've never gotten coke and not immediately done. It doesn't. <laughs> it, what, what, does, what kind of? Yeah. You know who does that shit? Kids who get the fucking Metallica T-shirts at Target. One hundred percent. Because they're they can not always finishing the more. bag. Rich kids. Yeah. Yeah. They always know something else is coming. This boogie board crap. <laughs> That's why he's uh, a whole Piece bag of, of foam. What? A boogie board. I can't get over you thinking fucking a box of carports is just stroking down a, a hill of snow. Uh, come winter, I'm going to fly on a, on a fucking box. What did you have? Sleep so probably one of those nice ones with the rails and stuff like that. <laughs> a radio flyer. A radio flyer. <laughs> <laughs> you bet your ass. You bet your you ass. You can steer at the front yeah, little yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's got a boomerang on the front to you take a see, right. You thought you could steer. No, <laughs> if you turn that thing, you're just doing a flip. Oh, yeah. That shit was wasn't a, real. It was like, it was a death trap. Yeah. That was before any kind of like child safety. This <laughs> or anything. I remember we would stack like four or five of us high on a radio yes. flyer and go down. Yeah. I mean, you'd be yeah. absolutely fine. Damn, dude. I got a piece of ice into my head. Cause we, you know, you, we'd go off a jump and just like yeah. bodies See everywhere and just, yeah cracked my skull Damn. bad when they started doing the ones that like that were like long and had like breaks in them and shit like that yeah oh, oh, man yeah. i wanted that so <sighs> fucking just too old 
I know. Right. Too old by the time that shit came out. Yeah, but time time that stuff came became yeah. cool. They update that technology. You're like, God. Do they even have those in it? It's, I feel like it's all tubes now. Tubes are big. To, it's tubes just, are why big. don't they remember this? The conversation I had with you and Soder about the adult. I want an adult sled park. You know what I mean? Like the fucking the shit is dangerous. Yeah, you go yeah. launch high speed. <laughs> you go to a fucking tubing place. It's like. Ooh. They rob you halfway down, down the hill, like Grand yeah. Theft Auto you or something be scared, like that. Scared, dude. I guess scared is what releases the endorphins. You <laughs> shit yourself. You got dump. You got endorphins. You, you can do both. that. You can. They don't. They don't have to have a designated one. <laughs> yeah, but you got. I don't know any fucking hills that are, are that dangerous <laughs> to get that to feel they, like I'm alive. <laughs> I got a dodge do bus. Do overpass on the fucking. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> On the I gotta, west side highway. Yeah, I got to do Frogger <laughs> in the middle of fucking ninety five. Feel anything? <laughs> Yeah, I think they expect adults to go to like a mountain. Yeah. yeah. Go ski, a loser. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a huge hill. <laughs> I don't have to walk up it. They'll just. I don't think this is that that insane to think. That you have want... you ever done that? That's real emasculating. You ever gone sledding at a ski resort? No. Oh, my God. Oh, man. The I've lights would have there. to be out in that place and have to be closed. <laughs> no, dude, I would I... walk through the woods so they didn't see my car. <laughs> they had, and I would they... sneak up there. Your don't... fucking lift tags on and shit like that. Looking but, like a bozo. Dude, imagine no, riding have, some... like, night tubing on like. Yeah, the they do, man. Yeah, they have... they're weak as shit. I'm saying fucking. I'm saying riding <laughs> rubber. real danger. Yeah, dude. Riding <laughs> rubber through, through the moguls. <laughs> People throwing bottles at you when dude, you're going that way. Blue Square, possibly a black diamond if you got fucking real good I, I want to get on a snowmobile. Fuck that. Yeah, they're, no? they're kind of boring. Nah, I don't like that shit. What? Snowmobiles, ATVs scare me. What? I don't like they it. get time. Yeah, ATVs. I, I don't know anyone who's like that's that's where it's at. Our gener- dude, our, when we were kids, fucking when those things started getting popular in the eighties, there was always somebody. Yep, snapped his neck. Yeah, fucking yeah. did a flip something. Yeah, ATVs those things were, were nuts, dangerous. Dude. Yeah, I don't know a single person who rides those regularly who still like has their spleen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. always like yeah. they just had to get some organ cut out. Uh, yeah, after a they all have cleft palates from <laughs> biting the top. Lips slamming their fucking head on yeah. concrete. Dude, in Philly, they roll around with those right, right down fucking That's Chestnut great. Street. Yeah. They don't give a shit. They don't. Nine cops chasing them. Dude, even around here, the fucking, the Zoom Zoom uh, Latinos. They yeah. go fucking. The wheelies? Yeah, the wheelies. I don't mind the wheelies. I see this guy. Much. I'm ahead. sorry. No, please. See this guy on 30th. He he gets the attention of a cop because he's, he's being a dickhead. Zoom Zoom out front of like bars and restaurants and it's loud as shit. And he, he zoom, pulls zoom his in. mask up. And he's talking shit to a cop. He's like, what are you going to do? Follow me? Come on. Come on, pussy. He's talking shit to a cop. God damn. And the cop just doesn't do anything. Because he's going to go down a one-way street. Yeah. 85 yeah. miles an hour. Gone. Gone. It you ever be- see a dude take off from a cop on a fucking, on a, like a, uh, what do you call him? Like a crotch rocket <laughs> on a highway? They fucking buzz, you mean a dude. motorcycle? Yeah. No, no. The Zoom Zoom ones. What's like, a zoom zoom motorcycle? Dirt dirt a dirt zoom zoom is not a turn. Not a dirt bike. The, the ones that go like fucking 200 miles an hour. Or like a Ducati or something? Yeah, I guess. It's a motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not a Harley. <laughs> it's a fucking zoom zoom. Yeah. Sport bike. A sport bike. Yeah. There's a guy who follows us. He's like part of the like sport bike. He's like in sport bike racing. He's yeah. He's like part of this circuit. Yeah. Like Ooh. they're going around the track with like the knee on the side? Yes. Dude. Let's... Right. Fucking set it up. What's his name? Do you know his name? Uh, I think it's like it's like Garrett. It's two G's. Garrett. Did he send you a message? No. I was like, uh, we were Gardini and I were in the hotel room, and we, you know, there's fucking nothing on TV in the hotel room, so we're just watching TV before the show, and it's like those super bike. It's one of those super, and I'm just watching it like this is the fucking craziest shit I've ever seen in my yeah. life, dude. They literally like. When they brake, they go fully on their front tire and then lean all the way over. And then when they're accelerating out of the turn, it's a wheelie. Like yeah. they're just flying. Yeah. It's so crazy. Yeah. Fuck and your then, knee up. Doing and Gargini goes, too. yeah, like one of these guys like messaged me. I wonder if he's like in the race. And I looked it up like on my Instagram. He followed me. I think he follows you. He better. Dude, it's like <laughs> he got 11th. Apparently he crashes all the time. <laughs> they all do it. <laughs> kind of I looked him up on YouTube and it's like a three minute crash reel. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder he listens to comedy podcasts yeah, yeah. instead of running the track a few times and getting better in his shop. Dude, you should do it. Somebody somebody approached us about sponsoring uh, this this young driver 
is in NASCAR. And like, obviously there's smaller, like, you know, leagues and stuff like that working your way up mm. to it. But he had a race coming up and he's like, hey, man, because we were talking, we've been talking about getting into to racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so you run out of things to say, we should get into racing. Cars, right? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna blow this money somehow. Let's <laughs> fucking go. <laughs> but it would have been twenty grand. We could have had the whole, whole car wrapped as the, as the RU garbage car. We just couldn't pull it off right then. Um, but I think we're gonna seriously Dude. consider doing oh, you it. Mean, Ed sponsoring a yeah. yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my about. god! Wait, what league is this? This can't be NASCAR. Uh, he ran in the uh, in the Xfinity series last weekend at uh, <laughs> Indy or they at Indy. I think Indy or Daytona. I'm not sure. Whatever is race it was the last ones weekend. With the big like foil on top, like the sprint. I'm car? talking the fucking no. The oh, f- actual NASCAR. NASCAR. He did. He does drive the trucks, but he got bumped up into a, into a car for for this race. Holy His name's shit! Brad Perez. Shout out to Brad Perez, dude. Fuck yeah, go Brad Perez, dude. If he won in the RE garbage, dude. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got the milk fucking dumping it on me. Are you kidding me? Let's fucking do. Down there in the pit wearing like fucking jackets that say AYG Racing. The headsets and shit like that. Dude. Doing little key bumps off the fucking hood. Absolutely. Oh, Have you ever been to NASCAR? No, I've never been to a NASCAR. <sighs> it fuck, my, my buddy worked for Sunoco once. Like This was like 10 years ago. <laughs> And he like I guess had a worked good for Sonoka. <laughs> yeah, you don't mean you don't mean you like pumped gas. Which station? No, he like, <laughs> on the turnpike. He, he was ten cents can, to the dollar. Give me all the free lottery. lottery tickets. I want it. Believe it or not, Sonoka's <laughs> big business. Yeah. <laughs> what time with the next yeah, Not your dirt ball buddies. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like he was a fucking VP well, of marketing. He was doing pretty good. He had like a good year, <laughs> and we got we got. We, <laughs> We had a good year. Sold a lot of Chico sticks that year. (laughs) (laughs) Horny go weaves flying off the shelves. (laughs) Get this fucking. (laughs) You sell 200 taquitos, you get a fucking (laughs) seat on the track. You get pit passes, dude. You get a pit pass. (laughs) (laughs) It was the coolest fucking shit. Hold on, I'm sorry. Were you down in the. Were you down there? Yeah, we got pit passes. We got everything. (laughs) It was fucking unreal. And dude, as soon as you hear those cars, Cars going, you're fucking five years old. Yeah, yeah. this has got to be fucking shit awesome. Ever. And you, and the rules were this. We went to whatever Delaware's race race track is, and uh, you could you could walk in with a thirty pack and just sit on it. <laughs> like, dude, how old were you? I was 25. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're of legal age, dude. You're what? acting like this is such a fucking you're still wonderful thing. In. Yeah. No, no, they no, let I'm us not... take our own beer in. Dude, my buddy knows a security guard at the back gate. He can sneak in a movie if we, theater in eighth grade. If dude. we sneak in the day before, we can bury a thirty rack out at pit road, and all we gotta do is dig it up, get hammered. All we got to do is unlock gate four A. Okay, he can bring in all, all the booze. Next, next time we go to an Eagles game, let's try to bring in a thirty pack. It's all free, baby. A VIP. <laughs> VIP's nice. It is. It's good times. We're supposed to go I, to a bring, Formula One race. I know. What's going on yeah. with that? Did you guys we hit got, that Patreon? We didn't we got four yet. Yeah, four thousand. Close. Okay. We're right on the line. Let's go. Two fifty away. Might What's be close. the race? It's the Is Italian it Grand one? Prix. It's the Italian Grand Prix in Monza. It's in oh, Milan. Okay. Yeah. It's it's a month away. Are you guys just yeah. gonna go as spectators? What are you doing? Yeah, we, yeah. We we've got a couple things in the works. We might be there's we kind of know someone who's filming a documentary for Ferrari, so we might be able to. Is it the Sunoco kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's had another good year. <laughs> Tommy knows a fishmonger oh, over there. <laughs> no, I just been messaging with this. Uh, it's gonna be all crab, crab and yeah. champagne. Yeah, <laughs> Carl F at Sunoco.com has yet to respond. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome. No, that's sweet. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It yeah, that's just fucking fun, man. It would be great. I, I don't know why, but it's just really gotten in my head lately. You know, once that like idea came up and you know, it, it wasn't that much. I mean, you don't get much out of it, but just for doing it would be pretty fucking cool Dude, to be oh, fucking 100%. hanging We'd out. We'd film the whole thing. And oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dude, fucking, our fishing trip. Trying to get in the yeah. car with them. What are you, nuts? <laughs> Dude, our fishing absolutely. trip was so laborious, but it was like at the same time, we, we didn't sleep for two days. We're on a boat for 12 to 15 hours. Yeah. You didn't sleep on the boat, did you? No, like, we couldn't. We, di- we, we drove to Rhode Island. Uh-huh. Probably got in the hotel at like 11. Yeah. 
I tried to sleep for like two hours, maybe max. Two we had to get up at twelve. Room. Two, rooms. two rooms. Yeah, we're doing all right. <laughs> Even if you were doing great, <laughs> for some reason I picture you two always sharing a hotel room. I don't was, know why. Well, that's a compliment. Yeah, we had to. Um, yeah, there was there was outsiders. So we had to act like we weren't like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get up at we get up at twelve. We get to the dock at like <laughs> two. <laughs> even had to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Once they go to bed, you guys are all professional. Good night. Thank you. So we're looking forward to working with you. Sneak into his room and build a fort real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just six nine under a pillow fort for fucking two hours. We left the dock at Throwing two. Throwing your rods out. <laughs> two a.m. Do we have to leave a tip if we do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then uh, takes us three hours to get to where we need to fish. Out, you are going out there? Yeah, and the boat nonstop. I don't dude. like that. That's full scary. Fucking full how many run. miles? How many miles out? You think sixty? You were? Yeah. Sixty? Yeah, dude. Yeah, Kippy was talking about that on the podcast. Doing that when he was a kid, going out really far. No one's coming to get you, man. Yeah, dude, you're it's done. Nuts. Yeah, nah, Coast Guard be right there. What are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> this is the mentality you have to have, though. Yeah, Coast That's Guard saves yeah. your head and your and your heart. They got helicopters. You think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get Especially, that mayday call. They hear out. it's you guys and be like, are you garbage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just call in like, hi, my name's Henry Foley. I'm fucking drowning. <laughs> <laughs> Henry Foley from Formula One Racing? <laughs> I'll be right there. <laughs> you know, we sponsor a NASCAR team in a couple yeah. of years. What? Old NASCAR Foley at it again. <laughs> no, then we were on the we were on the water for like seven to ten hours, I think. Yeah. Fishing. Would, would you want the chopper or would you want the cutter? I'd want the cutter. Is the cutter the zoom zoom no, boat? No. Will you stop with the... With the <laughs> that means it goes fast. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> it it's not doing wheelies out in the water. <laughs> it does, though. That's exactly what it does. It. No, I'm talking about like the boat. Like a... like a Looks like a battleship. Like a Coast Guard cutter. Yeah, but... Is it called a cutter because it because it cuts through the waves because it's fast? I think that's just what it's called. That's yeah, why. I, yeah, maybe a Coast Guard cutter. Okay, that makes maybe it's sense. Cut, cutting through the fucking. I'd rather have that than cutting the helicopter. through the counter. Really? I don't want to get pulled up there, dude. Some <laughs> thing starts leaning and shit. <laughs> Or I start spinning. Tail starts spinning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they gotta cut me loose after that. Save the crew. You're all in the water. Dude, the water. Yeah, yeah, like, need another one. Yeah, the cutter's <laughs> underneath him, like trying to catch him, <laughs> like a baby falling out of a building. <laughs> yeah. Did you, you see that lady that was spinning? They tried to get oh her. Oh my god! Like, the dude. old fucking woman. She was like seventy-eight years old. I almost threw up laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you know what he's talking about? No. They saved some old bitch in the rocks. And as they were How pulling did an old up, bitch wind up she, in the rocks? she spun. She started spinning. She's, going, She's like, out there hiking, these idiots. Yeah, I know. Old I, lady, dude. And when I say this, the. Uh, the speed with which this thing is whipping. It was like, like a Gravitron. Was, I was just going to say, it's yeah. like a Gravitron. <laughs> and the whole time, it was, yeah. and she's clearly knocked out after like the seventh spin. So you got some old bat <laughs> shitting and pissing and throwing up in yeah. a fucking little, in a little, it's a, it's a, she's, she's basically being buried. I mean, that's serious G-force. That's <laughs> doing that shit. <laughs> try, to stay, try to stay alert. Dude. Shout out to Top Gun 2, by the way. Oh that God. was fucking awesome. Yeah, I saw that this weekend. Good Even if that was my yeah. mother or grandmother, I would be wetting my pants, <laughs> thinking about her howling, muffling in that fucking <laughs> zip suit. <laughs> She's in a coffin. You're killing your grandma, whipping her around to safety. How do they not stop that? You can't. Stop her from going. Why isn't it two ropes? Stop her from going fucking hiking. I think the Coast Guard has looked into this. It doesn't seem like they have. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, two ropes. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's you. Yeah, that's a good move though you run test <laughs> you run test runs on on the elderly what's gonna happen You're like oh, our heart went she's like in 75 they can't blame you the old bat made a wrong decision i just i just like the idea of me and foley standing on the shoreline me going that doesn't look right <laughs> oh you know more than the coast guard <laughs> I think they got this. <laughs> She's just yeah. helicopters on fire. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, maybe the kid's got a point. I don't know. Strike two ropes <laughs> next time, up, fellas. She survived, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about. It. No, I think she survived. <laughs> but holy shit, <laughs> that was such a weird moment. To be. God bless her soul, by the way. <laughs> you said you were pissing in your pants, dude. I was laughing it. so fucking hard. I watched that like thirty times back to back. 
Yeah. Just thinking, if, if it was a normal person, I wouldn't have laughed so hard. Yeah. The thought of just having a blue hair in there, whipping around, just <laughs> losing her bowels. You know what I mean? Old people falling down is pretty good. Your asshole's yeah. a broken fucking rubber band by that age, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's got to be schmutz <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> just, just an open barrel of sewage. <laughs> just puking up Olive Garden's early bird special uh, over the fucking helicopter. You know the Coast Guard took that, took that fucking <laughs> that crate they were holding and just tossed it into the ocean. We can't, we can't power spray all this. My mom DNA off this fucking cage. Like Osama bin Laden. Yeah. Just fucking slide her off the U.S. That's Reagan. Hey, good luck, lady. Oh, <laughs> uh, this grandma DNA can't get off. Well, they just get her up there and put an American flag uh, on her. That's like getting to throw a mattress out. But she's when okay, dies. thank God. She's good. She's good. She might be dead now, but that was years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Hell of, a, hell of a segue, Tommy. I'm sorry. It's, it's very funny. That's why I love, like, you know, like you were saying, like, I don't have that balance. Like for like skiing and all that stuff. There's nothing. You weren't a skier? I'm surprised. Oh, we skied once a year in the Poconos. That's it? Yeah, we go to, yeah, we go to uh, Camelback or uh, fucking one of those by Walmart. We were back. Spring Mountain people. We did Spring. Real Spring's trash. very close. So that's well, like an it's hour. Like a, it's like a hill. It's oh, a hill. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a hill. It's a bunny yeah. hill. They have a tow rope yeah. to yeah. get you up there. You yeah. don't, <laughs> get on the tow rope? Yeah. yeah. Uh, talk about Between laughing. Your legs? <laughs> Dude, my fat ass getting drug up that thing. <laughs> fucking brand new CB jacket. Fucking trying to look cool. <laughs> brutal. Brothers, did, friends all laughing at me. Did you bomb down the mountain or did you pizza? I pizza. Yeah. I only did, did it once. I was like, this is fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Scared as shit. And then when I got up on the lift, I was like, what the fuck? I had too, too much anxiety for that stuff. Yeah, even I, young, my, even young, you didn't. Oh, dude, my anxiety was worse when I was a kid. I was scared of everything. Really? Oh, dude, I thought I was dying like every fucking three days. Yeah, I couldn't handle that shit. I used to have panic like, attacks walking up the stairs to the uh, the water slide, like the high one. Oh, yeah. yeah, I feel like I was having a heart attack. Yeah, that I get too. It was though. also yeah. about two twenty five back then. Yeah, so yeah. I been... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cocaine halfway up didn't help. <laughs> Eight year old fucking yeah. having a heart attack halfway yeah, as up. As soon as we get to twenty feet, we'll do one little bump. <laughs> Did you ever cannonball from the top? Uh, what do you mean top what? of what? Yeah, from that high dive. Can. He's talking about a water slide. Yeah, water slide. Oh, oh, I thought you meant the high dive of the pool. High dive? What do you think? I was born in the 20s? Who had a high dive? <laughs> well, you guys didn't have a high dive? No. That it was, was an Olympic long. pool by you? Yeah. No, they just, uh, pools had those, like, the nine meter whatever board. Yeah, maybe meters. you and the Kennedys up there. What are you talking <laughs> about? Fucking meters. <laughs> you guys never saw a high dive. <laughs> Yeah, and like old movies and shit. Dive in a shitty pool, which is like seven feet. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Can't, can't have a high dive in an above ground pool. <laughs> no, the high, dive, the high dive. Let me give you a quick history of the high dive. Hold on. Did you, did you guys did? <laughs> I would not be surprised. You know a shitload about high dives. Chris the Bird O'Connor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Doing the triple windy. Yeah. Did you have a Speedo? pool? No. So you guys had a community pool? Yeah. That you went to, that which yeah. had a high dive? Yeah. Was it? Did it have like multiple ones? Uh, just the two. Did you have the one where it wasn't a dive, just like a ledge no, that you jumped no, out? No, no, All no, right, no, okay. No, no. That's that's like that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I've seen those at like colleges and shit. Wait, what? Yeah, so like professional, like you know, yeah, the platform, platform dive. Oh, at a certain oh, point, oh, it's not oh, a oh, diving yeah, board yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the platform like is from the the ground. Like you just walk out a few feet. No, you know when they get a certain height, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. you just walk out. That's Olympic out. pool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't have they have fucking the, diving uh, boards up there going, story, in, uh, going another thirty feet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The story pool. Yeah, but they don't the use that anymore. No, that pool's like fucking That's three feet. Too many dirt balls have been pissing and doing drugs in it. No, I'm sure somebody fucking broke their neck. Jumping off the side yeah, of that. That's, or something. Yeah, that was a lawyer that thing. Shut that down. Super, yes, definitely. That's why they got rid of all that stuff. Was yeah. insurance. No. Yeah, because some fucking idiot wanted to be a cool guy and went off the side, fucking cracked his head open. Oh, yes. this kid ruined a good time for everybody. Yeah, because yeah. you used to be able to just go up. on the high dive. Yeah, any age you could just get up there and jump off. Yeah, yeah we did. We we did do <clears> one, but it wasn't it wasn't that high up. 
but it was still a diving board. It wasn't a ledge at like a YMC in Phoenixville. And that was fucking <laughs> frightening. crazy. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're up there. No, nah, I couldn't do any tricks. I would. That was I was jumping out of an airplane. No, there's no way. You're just eight years old. <laughs> the whole pool is watching you. And you just got to walk back to the rails <laughs> and walk out to the edge of the board. Yeah, and you was have like, Come to on, go. just jump. Yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. Kids yeah. can be cruel. Dude, speaking of hammers. Okay. This is how I grew up with the, there was a whole group of pagan, pagan yeah. biker guys that had kids that were uh, neglected and they just didn't go to school and they joined this little gang and they had like In chain wallets. Yeah. Chain wallets and like Guns N' Roses cut off t-shirts and shit, all the, all the metal bands and such. And they would sit on this trestle. Wait, hold on. You had actual pagans living in your neighborhood. Yeah, pagans are are one of their biggest populists is from <laughs> Skip Delco. the potluck that year, huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tell you, Mad Dog made a hell of a green bean casserole. So we'd walk through But they this. weren't like murdering goats in the woods. They were just, no, they, they were called just themselves drugs. Pagan. No, they were drug running and, and guns and shit. Wait, why would they Motorcy be murdering goats? <laughs> no, I mean, they were like old gang. school pagan. They weren't like... <laughs> Well, no, like worshiping a Stonehenge. A what are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that's what I thought your concern was. They weren't scared Dude. of the sun. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A couple of day walkers yeah. walking around. Or, or worshiping like a you goddess of grain. Or whatever. You knew what he meant. You were trying to I be knew funny. what he meant. I thought you were like, you had actual pagans. I was like, no, 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 no. This is a, this is a gang he's talking about. <laughs> I don't think he I did. See, I, I think you're pushing off on Foley right now. No, I didn't think he was living yeah. next to Germanic tribesmen. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we're doing a sacrifice in the woods for these pagans. So there I am, yes. killing a virgin. Killing a virgin and a baby goat at the same time, one night. Well, we want the harvest to be good, don't we? What are we going to do here? Huh? Someone's got to go. <laughs> if you don't kill this bitch, you get no corn. Talking about moving smack across state lines. Yeah. Well, you got to move those perks otherwise it's yeah. not gonna rain no it's a group of <laughs> it's a group of you know fat hairy fucking uh drug. did they all live in one house no no it was a whole fucking community of paid how shitty was your neighbor it's not the outsiders <laughs> yes it was how shitty if there was one house in the it's fucking 70 pagans in one house <laughs> That would make it less trashy. Yeah. So the, fact, the, the fact that multiple members of a motorcycle gang were able to get mortgages in your neighborhood. True. True. Where did you grow up? This this, yeah. this Goldilocks zone. Oh, you had a fucking hot oh, rough hole, dude. I was trash. Where Not next to the fucking Hell's Boogie Angels. Boogie boards, you rich pussy. <laughs> Biker gang, you poor fucking yeah, man. sack of Middle shit. Middle class, somewhere <laughs> in the middle, dude. Middle That's actually true. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's actually true. Anyway, we'd have to walk over That's this fucking. Uh, <laughs> a neighborhood has one guy with a motorcycle. <laughs> I started this fucking ten minutes ago. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Fucking. Multiple pagans. <laughs> That's it's a crazy. gang. There's got to be multiple. They don't have to live near there's each other. There's a whole hierarchy. Then there's a whole fucking sublet. You know what I mean? You got fucking uh, Don. And then you got. Uh, were they <laughs> nice guys? I think real pagans. No, they were pieces the of shit. They up. would fucking jump you, and uh, you, you went through like parks and shit. The kids would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the old people were just sitting like VFWs and fucking Polish club and and. So you're saying these people would hide in the woods and attack you? No. <laughs> that sounds well, that like sounds like what you're kind of looking for in, your, uh, like in your sledding experience. You would hire them to come to the sledding <laughs> They're not even taking turns. <laughs> They're not even taking turns. It's like they came in and were like, all right, look, at one part, one segment, we're just going to fucking motor mouth through anything he says. He'll be so confused. He'll be bopping from your face to my face. <laughs> Stone edge. Yeah. So... <laughs> Post sacrifice, I had to get to school. <laughs> no, I had to walk over this fucking trestle, which had like a like a. I gotta get this goat blood off me. I got a final in an hour. What are we doing here? I fucking hate. This. I hate this so much. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm not gonna say. I can't anything. say it. Plus, I think it's something real funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna hit you with it. This had something to do with high dives. It did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So thank you, by the way, because I totally forgot what the fuck you were talking about. Jesus, that's Christ. where I was going. <laughs> no, so that I didn't like. I got I, they would make you 
So the tra- there was a trolley track that was behind my house, and we'd walk the trolley tracks. <laughs> you had to, a fucking trolley in here. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking degenerate loser. <laughs> you had, you had, you had electric you transportation know? <laughs> fucking dildo. A trolley with a train yard. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have my parents the driving me to grade <laughs> school. <laughs> <laughs> Just bugs bunny to school. Long way down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many roads we got there, boy? <laughs> Coming up on a Chinaman on the ride. <laughs> sticks, uh, a, sticks a TNT in there. <laughs> I didn't say that we built the fucking railroad. We had a trolley track. It's a fucking local trolley Wally that Coyote takes you from. That takes you from. Uh, I was actually. <laughs> It's a shortcut to, to high school, you fucking assholes. And grade school. So we it's cut through. It's a shortcut to alcoholism. <laughs> That's what it is. Growing up with a chain track. Man, it's a yard. This story will end on the Patreon. It, it's it's going to take another 40 fucking in minutes. In Tommy's defense, you lived, it was, it's Philly, the Philly trolleys. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's a little bit different. Yeah, I don't need defense, right? <laughs> Nobody asked for defense, you fucking dickhead. So I'm just telling a story. It's so funny to blame him. I'm not just saying, you know, he said, he actually, no, 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 Tommy, I was He said it like, I was like, look, Hitler had a point. I was like, no, you fuck. I'm saying we, we cut the, we cut the time and we went down this trolley track to this trestle. The trestle was like 40 feet high and there'd be a pack of fucking hammers and they would make you jump. And unless you had like a brother that they knew, they'd fuck with you. I had two older brothers, so they were like, don't fuck with little Papa. And my, they made one of my buddies jump. And then jump after, into the water. Yeah, so you'd have to climb over a railing. This is on the way to school? From the track, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> and then you have to sit on this little fucking edge, which is the piece of uh, the pizza, piece of wood. And then you'd leap into this water down below. And it had one little section that had an egg that was darker. Otherwise, you could see like license plates and car tires and fucking shopping carts and all the short. It's dog shit. It's where these dudes like just throw fucking bottles. They're sure. drinking forties. It's fucking nine a.m. They're like, did you always have just like dry clothes in your locker at school, <laughs> just in case, <laughs> like Spider Man? <laughs> and then they would shoot you with like like BB guns. <laughs> Show up with a towel. They'd shoot you with BB guns on the way down. Yeah. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. They would sit in a. So there was one time where. They, I, I like this dude, uh, this dude Beswick. Shout out, KB. I went to public school. He's dead. What are you no, doing? No, he's not. He's lying. He's lying. Oh, one of your friends, not one of the pagans. Yeah. So I went to <laughs> kindergarten, right. first quarter, first grade at this public school, and then there was a split. So everybody was in public school. A bunch of these dudes would just hang out and fuck off, and uh, and one time I just wanted kind of to be cool, and then we'd just sit in the in the in the woods and they'd be drinking 40s in the middle of the day and they were shoot shoot the trolleys with with bb guns mm-hmm. shit and i just tried to try to be that i tried to be fucking cool for a while <laughs> you shot you shot trolleys with yeah, I, I don't know where this turned into 11. the outsiders. <laughs> no, I know. Well, I just, That's what I tried to do for I, a little while. My brain is so fucked by the word trial. I just can't stop yeah. laughing. A trial is like, like not painting, a painting tunnels on a rock and running. Around. <laughs> 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 like, it's so cartoony in my yeah, head. Yeah, well, we all didn't have fucking BMWs. Yeah, radio flyers and fucking high dives. <laughs> yeah, scumbag. Jesus Christ. You kids had cars in fucking eighth grade. Dude, it was crazy. There was kids that would drive like M5s to school. Oh, it was nuts. God. What's an M5? It's like a, a BMW. Ridiculously oh, yeah. expensive BMW. I got no one. My, my, I had a couple couple of friends that were very wealthy. Their parents were very wealthy. And uh, we got into an accident. Remember when they, the, when they started making the Mercedes, like when it changed over from like the old school Mercedes to like they got a little bit nicer and newer. And it looked more modern. Yeah. You remember like that yeah, first, yeah. it was probably, would probably have been 90, 91 when they switched over. Yeah. You know what I mean? More we got, into, we got into an accident one of the, with one of those fucking driving around a, a turn too fast. And if we weren't in that like nice of a car, night, night. we all would have got killed. So the cops, first thing the cops said. Really? Yeah. He's like, you're lucky your parents got money. <laughs> he didn't have that accent. I don't know why. <laughs> you guys were in Tennessee. <laughs> you're lucky the Piggins didn't get you, boy. <laughs> Yeah, they were like, if you were if you were in a, like a shittier car, you guys all would have died. You're in Bucks County, Montgomery, Montgomery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> just get, they're like, now get into this, get into this bucket. <laughs> get, in there, <laughs> get in this corporate box, we're gonna slide you down the hill, you fucking idiot. You bring in the big boy. This fat son of a bitch. <laughs> Can I pull the copter down? <laughs> Did you slide down your your steps in like a laundry basket? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dude, that bunch was a of blankets. Ride, bunch of blankets and go. Blankets? Yeah, we just wrap ourselves in like two oh, comforters and just fucking. That's like your helmet. Duck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your protection. Duck and roll. Yeah. Nah, dude, we fucking we would just <laughs> blow through that fake wall down in the basement that was uh, obliterated in every wall. You know, like uh, a fake yeah. little paneling. Yeah. It was like olive green with black stripes that looked like fake wood. No. And then we would just ride like a fucking laundry cart and smash right through it. What was on the other side of the wall? It was concrete. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like another six inches. <laughs> Dude, yeah, oh, I know what you're yeah, talking It was about. like cones on the side of a raceway. Sure, like Luan or yeah. like uh, like uh, what's it called? The shit that we have in the studio. The yes. fake wood panel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then we just blitzed all of it in every angle because my we had nowhere to play like sports. Yeah, dude. My my, but my dad never fucking fixed it. It was just all exposed brick. There's no. I mean, when you have boys, there's nothing that doesn't make sense to fix anything. Until yeah, that's they, when you need to get a couple leave. of some real friends when you're over their house and yeah. saw holes in the wall. I'm like, all right, yeah. here we go. Yeah, yeah. My kind of people. You know, dad's angry as fuck. Yeah. You know, the hamburger <laughs> helper was coming around. Yeah, <laughs> it better. Especially if the Eagles <laughs> lose. Ice tea, my my real whole backyard sweet. was just mud when my brother and I lived there. And downstairs in the basement, it was just hockey pucks had destroyed all the drywall. Yeah. He would just shoot hockey pucks at me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all like Dude, 15 we had to, years. He just, he just pound him. One of my brother's best friends, uh, Kamarowski, rest in peace. He had this place in- I knew a Kamar- it, I knew Kamar- a Kamarowski. Yeah. It's a Polish family that got us into the Polish American club. You have to know a Polish family. Nice. Yeah, I was a card carrying member. So you could go to the bar uh, and then take this card, beep in, and it was like late night till like 5 a.m. and just nice. drink when you're like 19. My uncle was the head of the Polish Union in Wilkes-Barre. We used to get uh, shit from And you had the, the Falcon time. on it? You had the Polish Falcon on the I card? I believe so, yeah. This dude downstairs, he's like, come downstairs. He was like, at that time, he was probably like 35, 38 years old, and he would just line up golf balls, and he had one strip of, of drywall that had wallpaper that was just forest. And he would let you hit off his carpet directly into the forest. And just smoke balls into the fucking drywall. And I'm like, you know how many, you know how many balls are back there? Because it's just littered with pock marks. Once you hit the fucking, if you don't hit a stud. This was your boy at his parents' parents' house? My brother's house? best friend, yeah. Down in their basement. No, his his house as an adult. <laughs> he was like 40, dude. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you find out how truly psychotic he is. Yeah, like, you know how many balls living. are back there? He's yeah. like, in the woods? I don't yeah, go in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't pagan, the, there's <laughs> pagans out there. <laughs> I can't pass the brush line. <laughs> <laughs> We're like Moonlight Graham and Field of Dreams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to pine needles. <laughs> hey, it ticks back oh, there. <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit! Do we? Have I don't know. Ads we have to read. I don't know. Do we ever read? I have no idea. You guys doing live? Yeah. yeah. We could just do them after. No, don't be silly. Do the ads. No, no, talk. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Shit. shit. You saw Top Gun. Saw Top Gun. <laughs> 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 that's mass. That's like you're talking about a fat chick at a party. party. Yeah, yeah, this is a bad date happening right yeah, now. So anyway, I know we're not going to finger tonight. You see Tom Gun? <laughs> so what school did you go to? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw oh. you at the dance that one time. Top Gun was fucking awesome. It not was. as good as the original. I no, have to say, of course, no, no. not as good as the original. No. And a couple of things. This is going to be real nerdy. Yeah. But the guy who runs the school. Wouldn't then go on the ship and call the fucking call the plays for the mission. John Hamm's character. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And plus, who the, fuck, the one guy had glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you, what are you the pilot? You, you can't wear glasses and then fucking F-18. You can put contacts no, can. in. The, no, but he can. had glasses. Like, yeah, you got to be 20. But the dude, the, he was wearing glasses. If you got retarded eyesight, you can't get in. Yeah. Is that right? 100%. Yeah. Can't be too tall either. You got to be a certain fine. height. Yeah, I'm. I am good. I was. I was watching Lenny What'd Dykstra, and I was like, <laughs> "Hold on, hold on, hold on." You got. You got to. You can pull off fighter pot. Did Tommy just leave? Yeah. That's what, what are we he, doing that's what he here? Does. Well, you're cutting this, right? 
Yeah. Um, no, no. He takes, put that 30 for 30 back on. Can you wear <laughs> contacts in a fighter jet? No, dude, they'll go in your back of your eyeballs. You got to have 20 20 vision. You have any Dykstra story? Even if you need prescription <laughs> eyeglasses, you can still be accepted in the Air Force as long as you meet a few base. Don't plan to wear contact lenses. The Air Force doesn't allow them during basic tra training and discourages their use in the field. What a fucking non answer that is. Discourages you? What? They'd rather have you blind up there flying around? No, wait. That says as a pilot. You cannot have 2020 vision and still get in. Yeah, I don't feel you know, that Air Force has other jobs. It's not just pilots. True. Say, see if fighter pilots can. You can get corrective surgery. Ah, there you go. Well, this dude had glasses on in the movie. You're right. Yeah, yeah. In the plane, he was in the plane. You didn't see it. I did see it, but I wasn't looking at the glasses. You don't remember the kid sitting in the back seat with the? I, I remember the back seat. Bob, yeah, his character yeah, was yeah, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, re I remember the guy with glasses. Yeah, but I wasn't. I, yeah, I was, he had him on in the plane. I was more concerned that there was no way they would use <laughs> F-18s for that mission. Oh really? Yeah, they use F-22s. What a nightmare! No, but he said that. <laughs> what a nightmare! He said, watching a movie he said the F-22s like are out. What? Because there, there was something in the briefing in the beginning when they first approached him, he's like, "Well, you can't use F twenty twos. They're stealth because I can't remember what it was." Yeah, whatever that was was not a, a real answer. Yeah, is that how you would have done it? Yeah, no, because yeah, that, that, that whole do, move, that whole move going down and up, two ropes be... on the thing on the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, double you... F nineteen yeah. slide right in there. You got to barrel through with an F twenty seven. The stealth is better in the F twenty two and the. It can it can handle more G's and it could make that move much easier. It's got thrust vectoring. Dude, shut up. <laughs> Dude, shut up. Yeah. You're gonna get crushed by dudes that know anything about this. I yeah. already hey, you know, this one, every, it, you? every time you do this, <laughs> no, everyone's like it. you fucking idiot. I watched interviews with fighter pilots about this movie because I was like, there's no way they would use F-18s. Am I nuts? And they were Dude. all like, the movie was sick. That's worse than stopping the guy at the gym. You're probably in the movie thing like, F-22s, no, huh? No, I sat there and I took it. I was like, don't. <laughs> yeah, don't. I took it. Don't I didn't say a word. That's only because he spent $25 on the ticket. <laughs> Otherwise, you're like, that's it. <laughs> don't I'm out of here. The movie. You lose it during the briefing. You're like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> This I was like, is bullshit. He's lying to him. Yeah. And the, their fifth You're going to get them all killed. What are you doing? <laughs> I was sitting there too because their fifth generation planes, not operational. <laughs> Who's fifth generation planes? The enemies, those fifth generation planes they were worried about, they're not operational. I've yet. seen them. The Russian. Yeah, no, they exist, but they haven't been used in combat because. I don't know. Well, who they gotta why. use something for the movies. They're not gonna no, give no, them fucking I, 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 normal I technology. I'm saying I got past it. I, I bet the first the, film. the first Top Gun, they were all fucking. They're they were out of date, dude. They were out of date. Nah, no, but the other the king. other the other planes in the original Top Gun were American planes too. I don't know what they're called. No, they were fighting MIGs. No, no on, they on weren't our MIGs. Sides. I, I'm pretty sure they. I'm positive. They were, what, what were they? <laughs> they were American. He's also planes. seen some fucking interviews. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you guys are pissed. I was gone. I'll go back in there if you want to finish this. <laughs> they were American planes. I'm gonna sneeze. The enemy planes were American planes. <laughs> oh, daddy! There is no, nice. there is no kind of MIG that at the time there was, there wasn't that kind of MIG didn't exist. Uh, MIG twenty, uh, MIG twenty nine is real. MiG 28s, I think it was. There was no MiG 28 at the time. They were, they were, they were American planes. This is some autistic train loving shit. You guys have never been in a cockpit. That's no, a good fact. I want to look that up. Yeah, for what? I thought they were MiGs. I'm big fighter jet guy. I love all that shit. Really? really? What? Fuck yeah. yeah. What are you, you gonna what, what are you gonna use this for? What do you mean? What do you mean use it for? You're just gonna shit on somebody at a bar when they bring up some dumb shit? It's like watch. It's like saying that what about you, someone likes or or What do you mean? Sports. We enjoy it. What? Because it's like you see an athlete doing something incredible. You go, "That's awesome." I like some. I like seeing someone. Sports do are that. on every day. You don't like cool airplanes. You don't like going to an air show. My dad yeah. was in the navy. I think that's yeah. probably why. I watch air the shows the way I watch favorite. NASCAR. I know the that's the fall. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the way I watch the Olympics. I want to see disasters. <laughs> I want to see a fucking biplane run through the crowd. <laughs> You ever see a montage of air show disasters? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Nothing wrong with yeah. that. And when chicks do the triple lindies on the fucking Olympics, I want to see an ankle go split 
Oh, Jesus. I don't want to see people slide Train down. Your whole and I, hear, that stuff. I know, that's the point. That's what you like, you want to huh? have a little drama. I don't want to see a fucking 10 score. <laughs> Suck my bird. I want to see this woman fucking cry. <laughs> Break your neck. Come on. <laughs> no, I wish My only other critique, too. Did you see the movie? What? Yeah. We went Top Gun. Yeah. Is Jennifer Connelly seen the new a lot about a top secret mission? Yeah. No, she yeah. was just a side piece in the first one. She was yeah, no that, shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And remember when he comes she back? She looks great. She though. wasn't Good in Lord. the first one. No, she wasn't. No, in the she first wasn't. One. She but wasn't. They her character. Little, they, they replaced her character. Yeah. They give a little. They gave a little nod to Kelly McGillis with the uh, with the with the Porsche. That was yeah. my she problem. She drove dude. an old school. Porsche. That was my problem. There was too many callbacks to the original. Sure. They shoehorned in a callback almost every fucking scene. It's like let this be its own thing. Right. A couple callbacks are nostalgic. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. You give a nod to the previous film. It was constant. They even used like the same fucking, like the same lines as like the son used the same lines as his dad. The fucking volleyball scene, the football scene was so fucking. They were singing the corny. song too, weren't they? He yeah, was singing they sang a song. Of fire. Yeah. He gets on a piano the and shit. It's like, thing. dude, what are you doing? Uh, the football <laughs> thing I could have used a little more of. Dude, are you kidding? They were hot kids. No, no doubt. They were, but they were. And I'll tell you what, that's pretty sweet. That fucking, you're always on offense. Is I don't know if that's a real thing. <laughs> I don't think it no, is. No, they created oh, a new game. That's I think that was a sweet. way to get out of that scene. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. <laughs> How do we decide who wins? Nobody cares. That whole yeah. scene, I just wish there was a Russian fighter pilot just going, <laughs> just smoking them all. <laughs> I got real upset awesome. with that shit. The movie's four hours long. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get a whole new unit. Yeah. <laughs> they all start right, the drug, boy. Yeah. <laughs> they go to every funeral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to plug, Pulse? We got to go to Paige. Uh, yeah, we're all over the road. Are you garbage? Uh, come out and see us. Come see a live show. It's a good time. Good way to introduce people to the show. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, check out the podcast. That's it. I love you guys. Well, yeah, love you too, Bob. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for stopping by. No, no. <laughs> no so that you want me to leave? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> no, no. no, no you're sticking around for the page. Right? Sticking around for the page, right? Of course. Yes. yes. Yeah. Is there? Uh, in October. Okay. Don't worry about it. Or September, I'll be in Boston. 16th and 17th at uh, the White Bull Tavern. There you go. Yeah. So Doing a little headlining? Nice. Yeah. That's what we're talking yeah. about. So that's it. You can oh. check out achrisoconnor.com for all my <laughs> other dates. Was Chris O'Connor taken? Dude. Yeah. yeah. Good question. Yeah. Yeah, of course Chris O'Connor's What is A Chris O'Connor? Well, I didn't want to do Chris O'Connor. No one, okay. <laughs> I did Trust this a long nuts. time ago. Everybody we have to send an email to I didn't want to do Chris like, O'Connor 1 or Chris O'Connor something else. Chris O'Connor comedy. So I just did A. I'm 1 Chris O'Connor. Why is it so bad? Why does everybody shit on that? What? If it's comedy. I don't know. I don't, I just. Because I'm know. comedy. I, I'll, yeah, I guess I'm deflecting a little. I did think that A Chris O'Connor was creative at the time. <laughs> What, what, so is your is your middle initial Andrew or something? No, no, it's just like an, instead of Chris O'Connor, one, one. I'm I'm one of many Chris O'Connors. I'm a Chris oh, O'Connor. Oh, a Chris ah, O'Connor. Ah, Chris O'Connor. Yeah. I don't own a gun. <laughs> yeah. I've, 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 there's not a single person I've said this to. I thought you were going to say there's not a single day I regret doing it. <laughs> I wake up in the middle of the night. What was, what was I thinking? <laughs> Stupid joke. Nobody's going to get it. No, no. That's one of those things that I try not to think about. I, I, Just I, another Chris O'Connor dot <laughs> com. Yeah. Dot net. <laughs> yeah. Dot link. I thought that was your middle initial or something. No. Yeah. Just the just bozo. Huh? I've, I've not said this to one person and had them go like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not even like, not even trying to make it, not even trying to like soft sell that they kind of like it. Everyone's like, uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> and well, I, thanks for stopping by. You know how many fucking emails and texts I get going? It's we're not getting through Chris's email. What's the problem? Like, well, he's got this fucking email. It's not, and he's like, well, did did they say er instead of or? I'm like, no, they're saying the right email. They just can't for some reason get to you, yeah, because of your choice. It's because your choice. Instagram handle a Chris O'Connor yeah. too. Yeah. Hey, you really went all in, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I'm stuck with it. He definitely had business cards made up with that shit. No, no. Did you ever have business cards made up in comedy? Uh, for Montreal. 
Ah, that's yeah. pretty good. McKeever took a picture of me behind his apartment complex in Contra Hocken. That's pretty good. I remember there's a brick wall and it's just me in his backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and he took a picture with his own camera and Jeez. had him made it like a local show. How you doing, Tommy Pope? Nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah. Fing. I don't think I just I never hang it one out. <laughs> Would you go turn like? I wind? wish. No, that's for for that. That's for that is smart. But I remember like we got ours in Philly and it was like yeah, yeah. fucking mm. <laughs> yeah. there we go. Yeah, thick press. It's like fucking 8,000 of them sitting in a fucking drawer somewhere. <laughs> They're so useless. Why the fuck would you? What would you? Because you act Every like agents and managers are going to be like, how can I get a hold of you? Well, you yeah. know what we were doing? We were trying to do anything. I don't know. know. Yeah. You weren't trying Trust to be professional. Me. And I every know. once in a while, you'd get someone, like you'd have a good set and someone would come up to you and be like, you have a card or something? Like, yeah. I, you know, and you'd be like, I got to get cards. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and you get eight thousand cards. And Meanwhile, then... the person at ASU owns the company that does the business <laughs> yeah. cards. Yeah. You should try this to print. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks, Mister. I will. <laughs> you walk down your trolley tracks. <laughs> uh, let's go to the page. 